Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Arthur Brooks and I'm a physical therapy educator. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the inspiratory capacity part of the spirograph. Super important to know if you want to make sure you get those questions right on the NPTE. So if you're ready to learn something, let's go. Hey guys, if you like this video or you learn anything, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe. You know the drill. So let's get into it. Inspiratory capacity. So in other videos previously, I've talked about tidal volume and I've talked about inspiratory reserve volume. If you don't know what those are, go back to those videos. Now we're moving on to inspiratory capacity. This is how much you can inhale from the end of a tidal volume exhale to as much as you can actively inhale. And the math on this is simple. The inspiratory tank, the inspiratory capacity equals the inspiratory reserve volume plus, uh, Inspiratory reserve volume, boom, IRV, plus the tidal volume inhalation. Those two are going to equal your inspiratory capacity. So let's think about some things that could affect this in your patient. So some negative factors, things that are going to reduce the inspiratory capacity are going to be your definitely restrictive lung disorders. That's pretty much what you'll see it called. An older version is restrictive lung diseases, but we're going to go with restrictive lung disorders. And here's two examples, a fractured rib. It's hard to, you know, ribs don't want to move when you have a fracture, so it's going to hurt. You're not going to breathe in as much, thus this overall number is going to be affected, and everything's probably going to be affected. Also, SCI, so a spinal cord injury. Any level of spinal cord injury that's going to affect any level of muscles that remotely control inhalation, like, number one, your diaphragm, or any of the intercostals. So here's your question, which intercostals help with inhalation? External intercostals or internal intercostals? Hmm. External, the external intercostals help with inhalation. So if we have anything affecting them, especially connected to fractured rib or an SCI, it's gonna reduce the inspiratory capacity. You need to know that if you wanna get that question right on the boards. So if you got any questions, Leave a comment below. Otherwise, be kind. Catch you in the next video.